Welcome to Wednesday. It is qualifying time for this week's GP event. And I know you're all here for it. It's the Mexican GP with George Russell, the Warden and Thunderclap all 10% boosted. Strategy Guide was released yesterday, Tuesday. So make sure you go and have a look to see what the best strategies are around these tracks. What are we running? Zhou Guan Yu, Esteban Ocon retain their places for this week and the Warden and Thunderclap both come in, giving us a decent car setup. So we're going to get this underway. Race number one, we've got Mexico twice, one with a chance of rain. We've got Brazil and Abu Dhabi as well. So fingers crossed, it is our time to shine from the Mexican GP. So last week in qualifying, we had difficult matchups and already we have a player who's around 30 ahead of us. Now, if he's using George Russell, his car's going to be a fair amount better than us because we're not using George Russell. And as you can see, we're on the back foot a little bit, P8 and P10. We're going to need a bit of luck from there. We're going to go on to Prince and we're going to go on to Copper. Four soft, four medium, five medium, three soft is the plan to try and overcome this rival. Can we do it? Well, here we go. So, two perfect starts. That's exactly what we need. Can we get the look down the outside? Yes, we can. And what a start from Zhou Guan Yu on them soft tyres. What about Esteban Ocon? He's absolutely squashed like a squashy and he is in to P9. So, a tough start for him. Hopefully he can claim back one or two more the later into this race. But Zhou Guan Yu leads with Esteban Ocon in to P8. And we're going to try and start to close that gap. We've got the Mercedes and the Aston Martin fighting each other out in front. And we're going to take at least one of them taking the Mercedes. Alonso ahead. Can we get past into turn one and turn two? Not yet. We're going to keep boosting. Feel like it's needed to get past Alonso. And we're in. We are in. Good, good move. P6. Zhou Guan Yu racing off. And Alonso comes back at us on the soft tyres. We'll be the only one or two cars ahead doing five laps on the mediums. So we've got to stretch our tyres a little bit. We've got to stay within the front two. And we've got a safety car. Safety car is out. So Esteban Ocon is going to go on to the hard tyres. Zhou Guan Yu is going to go on to the hard tyres. We should be very good on this strategy. We could go softs. No point. We're just going to chill. And this should help us in this. Ocon might not even lose a spot as Zhou Guan Yu pits. He should come out maybe in the lead. And I think he will. He does. These have still got a pit. These are going to run out of tyres. So if we can get Ocon out, he's going to drop a few positions, isn't he? But he's going to be in a perfect position because he doesn't have to pit. Can he get ahead of the rival? No, he can't. So we've got five laps to do on the hard tyres. We've got a tyre that does five to six. So we are good to go to the end. And the perfect strategy, quick thinking, looks like it could come and cement the positions. Rival will probably go around one more time. He's going to run out of softs and so are all the AI behind us. And let's push. We are off. Rival, in fact, pits. So Rival is into the pits. We're not. Are we going to catch up this Rival? I'll tell you what, he's nearly coming out ahead of us. Based on how slow the back of the field were under the safety car. And luckily, we can actually last this tyre long enough. But we nearly got... I mean, rivals pushing now as well, potentially. So we need to try and clear these ASAP and build that gap. Because this is not over by any stretch of the imagination. You can see the hard tyre and the medium now both pushing as we enter the home straight. They carry on round. Rivals used all of that power unit, and we are right behind Hamilton. Looking at the boosts, Kuppa was needed to give Zhou Guan Yu the perfect race start. Because I selected mediums for Ocon, I went with Prince, 
just to give him a bit more defending because his defence stat isn't the best. But we are looking good with two laps to go here in Mexico. And Zhou Guan Yu starts it. Ocon takes second from the Mercedes. We are potentially looking good. Rivals still got a pit, nearly doing eight laps on that hard. It's going to do seven. That's a big stint on the hard tyres. But Zhou Guan Yu is about to start the last lap with loads of tyre left on him. Ocon about to start as well with the same circumstances, the same tyres. And here we go, we are on to the last lap for both drivers with a comfortable lead over P3, which is Lewis Hamilton potentially doing eight laps on the hards. That is some big, big tyres, big, it's almost like Austin for some of them. But Zhou Guan Yu has walked it. Good early pit stop, good start from Zhou Guan Yu. And he will come home victorious in Mexico. Race one is under our belt. Zhou Guan Yu wins it with Esteban Ocon coming home in P2. And that is a beautiful 47 points here in Mexico. It's race number two in Brazil and we get our worst scenario. It's a 1-7-5 something matchup. And we are going to be sent flying back. This is what we didn't want and it's certainly what we have got. And look at that. P1 and P2, P10 and P11 makes it impossible again in qualifying. So Zhou Guan Yu, we're going to put on the mediums. We're going to put on Prince. Ocon, we're going to hope to get that perfect start. We're going to have to do a 3-3-3. Free, free, free. I could have done a one-stop, but God, we've got to... I mean, he's on a good strategy as well. Hopefully he goes soft hards. That would help. Perfect starts needed. We get it. We need Ocon to go up to the inside here. I mean, Zhou Guan Yu goes round the outside. We're both going inside and out. And we are up to P4 and P6. That's a very good start in what is going to be a very difficult race. Zhou Guan Yu into P3. Make it P2 and P4. That is the best possible start that we could have hoped for. But it's going to be a long race. And you can see already, Rival has come easily past us. And we're going to now settle down. We're going to get Ocon through. Because he's going to do a two-stop, which is a bit more tricky around here. But we've got to hope for the best. We've just got to keep pushing. Zhou Guan Yu, P4. We are right there. We're going to try and do five laps on Zhou Guan Yu. That's the hope. I'm pretty sure he can squeak out five laps. That would be perfect. And as you can see, at the moment, he actually can. Zhou Guan Yu, 60% as he crosses the line or the pits. And here comes Ocon now, looking at the back of Max Verstappen. We need, we need some good luck here. Can we get past Verstappen? Yes, we can. We're already through. We're not going to push Zhou Guan Yu, though. Although Norris looks like he's on the soft tyres behind. And he is. So, Ocon comes in. Already. So does the rival. This is all to play for in this race. This is going to be a thrilling race. I can sense it. We're not going to push Zhou Guan Yu, though. We're going to leave him doing his own race. Out comes Esteban Ocon. We'll close the gap a little bit and then we'll attack later on in this race. Hopefully Copper Boost and Zhou Guan Yu holding him up a little bit will help us close. And that's not bad at all. So, into the straight we go. Kind of straight, that is. And we are good for a 5-4. Is the rival doing a 5-4 as well? He is. That's going to be a difficult to overcome. Ocon gets past. He's going longer. And we're going to just close that gap a little bit through this section. Rival's got so much power unit left, though. That is the problem. When Zhou Guan Yu comes out of the pits, we are absolutely going to smash this power unit to smithereens. Ocon into P2 now. Hard tyres for the rival. That gives us a chance. Rival's pushing. We've got a chance. Rival's pushing using all that power unit. We're not going to be too far behind. Zhou Guan Yu is. That's our problem. If he goes mediums, we've got a chance of overcoming what is a terrible matchup. Another absolute requirement to race. He's gone mediums. He's gone mediums. 
We've got our chance. It's used most of the power unit already. Ocon comes out. This is going to be down to the wire. We can see them both boosting still. Bots using all their power unit up. Medium's gone now. We are closing ever so slightly. We can see them all. We can smell them. Come on, Ocon. Come on, Ocon. Come on. Get around him. There we go. We're going to save up. We've got one more lap after this. If that rival pushes on Russell, we're stuffed. But we're going to try and close. We're on the softs. We've got Zhou Guan Yu ahead. We are into P1 and P, well, P2 and P3. Spoke too soon. Round the outside we go. One lap to go. If the rival pushes, we are a bit stuffed here. I mean, he's not pushing in. He's got past us. How does that work? We're through again. Can we get P2? Can we get P2? Yes, we can. Can we hold? With no power unit. Rival's pushing. Rival is pushing. I can't use the power unit. We've lost it at the last corner. No. We tried our best. We couldn't succeed. It is a brilliant race, but it's an impossible matchup. We just couldn't use the rest of the power unit quick enough. It is 46 points. And I tell you what, we'll take it because look at that for a matchup. Another ridiculous matchup in qualifying. Rocking a level 8, Max Verstappen and Russell. And look at that car. How the hell can we compete with that? Again, a Max bot pretty much ruins our fun. Race number 3, Abu Dhabi. GP, we've got the same lineup. We've got a better matchup. So this is our first matchup that is actually in our favour. So that would be a nice feeling. It's just a shame that it's only came at race three, but we still get out qualified. It's Max Verstappen doing the damage to us. We've got mediums for Zhou Guan Yu. He's got the better tyres, so he's going to go on to some prints. We've got Ocon going to be doing a two-stop, so we're going to hit him with a bit of Kawhi. 3-3-2 three, three, for Ocon, a 4-4 four, four for Zhou Guan Yu. Inside line, perfect potential starting positions. Can we keep to the inside? Ocon has a sneak and he has a lovely sneak. He opens the door and shuts it on the way back out. Ocon on the softs, blasts into the lead here at Abu Dhabi. And Ocon is nicely in front. Zhou Guan Yu up to P7. We're ahead of the rival, that's always a bonus. Can we get Charles Leclerc, whose floor is a bit lower this week, trying to take advantage of our situation? And we are right behind him, looking for a move. Zhou Guan Yu gets the job done into P6. Good start. Long way to go. Ocon leads from George Russell, Max Verstappen and Lando Norris. The rival just goes round us into P5. We're going to try and get Hamilton, which we do. And at the moment, Rivals using all that power unit opens the door for us to take Max Verstappen. And Max Verstappen hurt Max Verstappen, which means we are up to P5. We can follow them as they move forward. And it's Zhou Guan Yu attacking Max Verstappen now on that Prince. And we can get a pit stop here for Ocon. And Zhou Guan Yu is all over the back. Different tyres. Prince boost coming into effect. And we are bang there. Zhou Guan Yu looking good. All softs ahead as well. As we push Ocon in with that Kawhi boost. And we're going to take the probably take the lead of this race nearly. But Ocon will get a decent stop with that tyre. Boost, or tyre management and his boost. So Zhou Guan Yu into P4. He is going to take P2. And it's Ocon who comes back out. Medium's last stop for Zhou Guan Yu. Decent gap formed. And let's just see if we can push that little bit further to create the gap for Zhou Guan Yu. He's not got a massive gap. 
It is nine seconds. We might get ahead of Russell. And Joe Grant use him. Ocon carries on round. With Ocon with the lead he's got, I might actually pit this lap. Because I don't want to lose any more points if we get a safety car. So we'll be conservative. Oh, I'm so gutted, I just couldn't hold on in Brazil. We do drop the one, but that's so frustrating. Ocon, come round. Ocon is in. Zhou Guan Yu. Looking good. Still got to take P2, but he'll pit now. And it will just be George Russell right behind us, who will be our danger to come. But it's looking good. If you've got this far, make sure you do like the video. Show your support. Show your support in the comments as well. Drop me a comment. If you've got a question, if you want some help, let me know. Let me know that my, my strategy guides are working. But for us here, they are definitely working. It's looking good. We're going to take, with two laps to go, no safety car to haunt us. We are looking good. George Russell, he's fell back on the hard tyres. Not the right tyre choice round here. And it is going to mean that we are going to comfortably cruise on the end of this race with Arcon. P1 on this new layout. What do you think of the new layout at Abu Dhabi on F1 Clash this year? It's probably only the fourth or fifth time I've raced it. And I like it. I really do. But here we go. Ocon. Last lap with Zhou Guan Yu. No one is anywhere near. We've got it in the bag. We're going to return to the 47s. After being agonisingly close in Brazil. And it is going to be Esteban Ocon who takes another win here. He's loving life at Azad WF1. Zhou Guan Yu has to settle for second place again. But we are back to form. We are back to the top. It's 47 points here in Abu Dhabi. So then, race number four. It's the last time we're going to battle this one. For qualifying, that is, anyway. And it's Mexico with a 0% chance of rain. So let's see what we can do, what damage we can cause. And can we just finish with our one point drop this week? Ocon and Zhou Guan Yu. As you know, Ocon will swap to the mediums. He'll go on to Prince, Copa for Zhou Guan Yu. And let's see. We had a safety car race one. What will happen in race two. Will we get that beautiful start that Zhou Guan Yu got? Or Akon was it? I can't remember last time. Well, he went to the inside. We're going to go to the middle this time. So Zhou Guan Yu sights ahead with Leclerc. And he is going to get caught out a little bit. And moves back to P6. So it's not the smooth start that we got in race number one. But we are bang there in P3 and P7 which will just calm down a little bit and we'll finish the rest of this lap boosting. P2, Zhou Guan Yu. P6, Esteban Ocon. And into the straight where we can serve. Good first lap. What have we got around us? The Russell on the mediums. We want to get past that medium so we can start to disappear. And already, flick of a switch, we've done it. What about ahead of us? Bunch of soft tyres. Prince looking like it's a decent boost today so far. And there's Max Verstappen going backwards. Max Verstappen on the soft, struggling. Maybe some tyre warm-up. We can't get past though, typical. Down the straight we go. You can see Joe Guan Yu comfortable out front. That's why we need to get past the Mercedes on the mediums. But these soft tyres will all pit next lap most likely. And we'll be in some free air to attack the medium of Russell. Zhou Guan Yu comes round. No safety car to hurt him, which is good. He'll come back in. We might as well go softs. We might as well cruise. 
Ocon P6. And the good thing is, Russell's actually holding the field up here. He's holding everyone close together, which helps us as we look to protect the gap. But Zhou Guan Yu is going to come in. He's going to go soft because he doesn't need to push. Here's a move from Ocon on Lewis Hamilton. Great move. Doesn't matter anyway because they're going to come into the pits. And Esteban Ocon is up to P3. One more lap until we pit, which is this one. And we've got Zhou Guan Yu now right behind George Russell. We are P2 and P3. What about the gap? 13, 10 seconds is the gap to the pitters. We have done the overcut. And Zhou Guan Yu is going to force Russell a little bit wide as he starts his lap. What about Ocon then? Where is he going to come out of? Russell goes past. Here comes the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc. And we are behind Leclerc and Russell. And we're ahead. Now it's George Russell time. He has gone on to the softs. So we need this move to get 47. Here comes Ocon. Round the outside. Tries the inside line there. Couldn't get it done. Into the stadium section. Will the crowd go wild in an Ocon move? Yes, they will. And Esteban Ocon is up to P number two. And that is the perfect start to our qualifying. Although... Looking like it is going to be the one point dropped, which was very unlucky in the end. Because you can always look back and go, where could I have saved that millimetre of power unit, which would have let us use ours? We just, just missed out. But one lap to go. Zhou Guan Yu has already started. He is in the final lap. Ocon, P2. He's going to come home perfectly there as well. We are in no danger. Nice little gap. Two and a half seconds between Ocon. I mean, we can boost Ocon anyway. Get him out of the way. Just in case. You never know what will happen. But Zhou Guan Yu comes across the line. Takes P1 with Esteban Ocon. Coming home in P2. A good win from where he were in race number four. And we'll await the rival to finish. And we'll have a look, see what that does to the leaderboard. Fingers crossed that you all have a good qualifying session. Hopefully you get some decent matchups and some decent luck. But for us, it is looking like the one point drop, which is a, sadly a little bit annoying. But hey ho, that is what happens. That's the way the cocky crumbles. As we've shown last week, you can drop points and still potentially come away with a top medal. And there it is, 187 points in the bag for the WF1. Just that one race against a, pretty much a max bot, which absolutely killed us. So we'll take it, and that's a max bot for our range, that is. So yeah, we'll take it. We'll take 187 into opening round at the weekend, and fingers crossed. We will all see you there. But remember, strategy guide for the weekend will be out on Friday.